Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am here today with a little crafty chat where I'm going to get you caught up on what I've been doing this past week. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. You might have noticed that I haven't been putting out as many videos this week as I have been recently. I did start the week out with the newest sheet load of cards where I showed you the new sketch and then the next day showed you how I made this first set. This month I did make a set of 12 masculine nautical themed cards. So if you haven't seen this yet, I will have those videos linked in the description box below. It was definitely a good thing that I had to have those videos done ahead of time because I felt kind of yucky the first two or three days of the week and then Thursday and Friday I just sat around and recovered. Seriously, hardly did anything. But I'm feeling much better now. I'm ready to get back down here and create and share some more videos with you. Even though I haven't made videos this week, I have had some exciting or fun crafty things going on so I thought that's what I would share with you today. First of all, I did announce that I am now on the design team for the Not Too Shabby shop. If you haven't seen the video with the announcement, I will link it below. But I was super excited to get my first little package and I received a stamp set and some papers from the shop. The first item that I got to use is this adorable Easter stamp set and it is kind of a collaboration between Not Too Shabby and Teresa Russell, which you might recognize her name from the Scrapping for Less website. She is back as a design team member with Not Too Shabby and she's going to be designing stamps and papers for them still. How fun is that? And the next product that I get to share with you is the Dots for Spring paper pad. And what I love about this is it's double sided, it's beautiful spring colors, and there are dots on both sides. On the front is an average size polka dot paper, good for card making, nice and small. If you flip it over, there are even smaller polka dots. It is so cute and it comes in so many great colors for the upcoming season. I will have both of these products linked in the description box below, and I also have a discount code that you can save 10% on most of the items in the store. So if you check that out, I hope that you'll use my link. I was able to get crafty a little later in the week. On Friday, my sister and I did a little Zoom session while we both kind of cleaned up our craft areas. And I made this spring card, which is actually a clear card for my friend Danny's. There's a stamp for that challenge group on Facebook. The latest challenge, it could be spring or bunnies or shamrocks. So I decided to go with spring and I use this stamp set that I've had for years from There She Goes Stamps and I use some Zig Clean Color Real brush markers to color that in. I just thought having that embossed with the white and coloring it in kind of gives it that no line color effect but then I still have the embossing to help me stay within the lines. If you're interested in finding out more about Danny's challenge group, I will link it in the description box below. You just have to answer those questions, agree to the rules, and then you can start joining us. She puts out a new challenge every two weeks, and it is kind of built so that you have something in your stash to participate. You don't have to go out and buy anything special or order anything special, and it's just a fun place to share your creations. And over on the right is a card I made last night while I watched Craft Roulette. If you haven't heard of Craft Roulette before, it is an online kind of crafty game show. It's live on Facebook on Friday nights. And then on Saturday, they upload the replay here to YouTube. So I will link that channel below. You can check it out. I'll also link Mary's group. I have been honored three times already to be a special guest on the show, but I also just like to watch it on my off weeks. 
And last night, I decided that I would try to make a card while the guest and Mary created cards. And what they do is they spin a wheel and you get four different parameters and then you have to create a card or project based upon that. Well, it started out great. It was a card with a flap. It was spring, which was great because I already had spring papers out. And then I went to dog. And I had to pause just like I did there. And then it went to page from a book. And that was when I was like, you know what? I'm out. Never mind. I will not create a card this week. But if you're ever going to create a card for Craft Roulette, this is the week to do it. Because if you enter a card for the newest episode, which is episode 51, next week on episode 52, which are celebrating their one year anniversary, they have tons of prizes to give away. But to be entered for those, you have to have made a card for this week's parameters. So you do have until midnight tomorrow night, Sunday night, to get a card made and entered. Um, once again, I will link that video below and Mary's website and it has all of the details. So I hope you'll play along. I do have a prize that I'm going to be giving away next week. It was just kind of like a grab bag of prizes from my prize basket, I guess I call it. I'll put a picture of the goodies up on screen now. So if you would like a chance to win that grab bag or tons of other prizes, believe me, there are lots of great ones. Make sure to get a card in before tomorrow at midnight. For my card for the challenge, my flap was just a little card on the front. So basically my background is like a postcard. For my book page, you can see here, I used a page out of a dictionary. Spring, I brought in flowers, the floral paper, and the sentiment says, thinking of you is like the spring. You bring love and joy to everything. So I thought that went well. Now the dog is what really threw me off. I'm like, how am I gonna have a spring dog? And I don't even know if I have a dog stamp set, but I do have a dictionary that I purposely bought at Dollar Tree for stuff when I wanted a book page and maybe I wanted a specific definition. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna put the dictionary page for dog on my card front. Well, I did buy my dictionary at the Dollar Tree, but dog is not even in that dictionary. I couldn't believe it, but puppy was. And for puppy, it says a young dog. So, hey, there's my dog. It's a little hidden, but I did follow all of the parameters and I had fun challenging myself and thinking outside the box. That's one of the great things about Craft Roulette is it does challenge you. It helps you to think about your products in new ways, maybe even get out products you haven't used before, but now they'll set a parameter so you can do that. I had a couple other exciting things come this week. The first one is over here on the left and it is upside down because if you are going to participate in Stamp Joy Spring 2021 and you don't want to see the content yet, I don't want to spoil it for you. But in here are the contents for the Spring 2021 Stamp Joy for the Saturday Make and Takes. I did this in the fall and had a blast. My sister and I do it together just online. We just text back and forth. And they're going to have an unboxing, but my sister and I decided to go ahead and open up the box just while we were on Zoom. So we did that on Friday. We got a little sneak peek of what we're going to be making, and I cannot wait. Here's a little quick peek. Did you see anything? And before we get to the final item that I want to share, I do want to remind you about my Share the Love giveaway in celebration of my 15,000th almost 17,500th subscriber to my YouTube channel. You still have until midnight on March 14th, 2021 to enter. I am giving away six $25 gift cards. It is open to anyone 18 years and older who is a subscriber to my channel and it's open to international as well. I will link the video with all of the details in the description box below. I hope you'll check it out and consider entering. Oh, and bonus, if I do hit 17,500 subscribers by the 14th at midnight, I'm going to give away one extra $25 gift card. So it's up to $175 in prizes. And, and finally, some happy mail for the week. 
I received my personalized stamps that I ordered from rubberstamps.com. I recently became an affiliate with them and I didn't realize all they did until I went to their website and I had been kind of messing around recently with a new logo for Call Me Crafty Owl and I came up with one that I thought was cute and I'm like, hey, why don't I get myself a personalized stamp? So I created my logo and I was gonna make an address stamp, I believe, was all I was going to do. And then I went and priced it and it's priced depending upon the size and I was gonna get like one single address stamp for like $6 or something, but I saw that you could get up to a four by four inch stamp for $8 plus shipping. So what I did is I designed my file with, well, you'll see it here in a minute, but I designed it with multiple images that when I got the stamp, I could just cut them apart because you know, it's pretty easy to cut apart clear stamps. So that's what I did and I got it and I just tried it out here real quickly so I wanted to show you. So I did an address for when I send happy mail to my subscribers. I did just kind of a largest size logo. I did a smaller size of it and then up here I thought, what if I had something to put on the back of the cards I make and mail out? So that's what I did. I put my logo and then I have my Instagram handle, my YouTube website, and then my email. So I think for, I think it was 12, maybe $13 shipped. That is a great deal. It came on the clear plastic backing. And again, I will just cut these apart when I'm ready to separate them. And then I can just use them individually, either on a stamp block or in my Misty. So that is definitely a great deal if you wanna check it out. You can also just do basic address labels, like they might have something on there that helps you design it. But if you can design stuff or have anybody in your family or friend circle that can, this is a great deal, like $8 for this, to me, it's personalized, excellent price. If you do wanna check out their website, like I mentioned before, I do have my affiliate link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed seeing and hearing what I've been up to this week. I hope to be back really soon with another project video for you. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.